To begin querying for data, we first need to make sure that there's data available in our database to query against. To go ahead and input the data into our database, we'll go ahead and execute a couple of create to do mutations. Now that the mutations have been executed, we can click on Docs and then Query to view the available queries. Here we see two available queries, Get To Do, which returns a single to-do, and List To Do's, which returns an array of to-do's. The first query we'd like to execute is the List To Do's query. List to dos returns a to-do connection input. To-do connection contains an items array and a next token that's a string. For our query, we'll only return the array of items. Each item in the items array is a type of to-do, which has a property of ID, title, and completed. When we execute this query, we should see list to dos returned with an array of items. The next query we'd like to execute is get to do. Get to do takes in an ID as an argument and returns a single to do. To test this out, we'll create a query called get that will execute the get to do query, passing in the ID of the workout to do. List to dos also has a filter property that's useful for doing filtering and searching. We'll test this out by creating a list to dos query with the filter that filters on the title with titles only containing the string workout. It may be useful to filter our to-dos based on the completed value. To test this out, let's go ahead and execute a mutation to update the completed value of one of our to-dos to true. Now we can update our filter to filter on the completed value equal to true.